Hey everyone, it's Tim here from Web Hosting Canada. Today we're going to take a look at how to manage user account permissions in our newly updated client area. So before we begin, it's worth noting that we now have a few key changes to the terminology with the introduction of accounts, users, and owners. So accounts, formerly known as clients, are essentially all entities you own products or services. Users are the individuals that can access those accounts. And each account has a single user that is designated as the owner. So the owner is able to grant access to additional users from their client area, as well as manage their associated permissions. So this new feature makes it possible for you to easily give appropriate access to your web developer or bookkeeper, for example, so that they may assist with or execute tasks within your account. And if you're a web developer or agency, your own user account can now be used to access all of your client's accounts, making many tasks much easier to manage. So let's take a look at the interface. If you're an account owner looking to invite a new user to join your account, simply log in to your client area, then go to My Profile followed by User Management. From here, you can scroll down to Invite New User, where you can enter the email address of the user's account that you would like to add. To grant all available permissions, you can leave all permissions selected, or if you wish to allocate specific permissions for this user, select Choose Permissions. So for example, if you're working with a web developer, you might want to give them access to Manage Domain Settings and View Domains. So when you're happy with your selection, click on Send Invite. This will send an invite to the new user, which they can then accept. Uh, so until it's accepted, it will display here under Pending Invites. Note that if you send an invite to a user with an existing account, they'll be able to access the client account with their existing login credentials. If the user's email address does not correspond to an existing account, they'll simply be prompted to create a new one. So account owners can manage users and their associated permissions at any time via the user management area. If, for example, you wanted to completely remove access for a particular user, you can simply click on remove access for the corresponding user. And of course, at any time, you can come in and change your permissions via the manage permissions button for any of your users. Simply make any changes as you see fit. And then when you're happy, click on Save Changes. The permissions will update and they'll take immediate effect. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to leave us a comment. We're always happy to help out. If you want to learn more about user account management in the client area, check out our help article, which is linked in the description below. So thanks for watching today and we'll be back again soon with more useful tips and tricks to get you going on the web.